part one of my art supply haul. Hello, Jill Brotherton Art here again today. And before I start a painting today, uh, which I'll do in my next video, I thought I'd show you a couple of little bits I bought yesterday. Um, I went to a lovely little art shop in Canterbury. I live near Canterbury in the south of England, and many of you will know it for its historic cathedral. And there's a little art shop there called um, Cowling and Wilcox. And um, I'd just like to thank the staff there who were just really helpful and showed me a few products that I um, wouldn't ha well, I was looking at, but I didn't really think about using them. Um, I actually ended up buying these gold oil painting pens, uh, gold, silver and black because there's a picture uh, I took a photograph years ago a couple of years ago of an autumn scene just as I was dropping the children coming back from dropping the children at their dad's and the sun just lit up the leaves and the sheep and the um, view in such a way that I literally had to pull over the car and take a photograph and I've been dying to paint that photograph ever since uh, and I still haven't. And it's very golden. And when I saw these pens yesterday, I thought, um, you know, I actually really want to have a go with those. So I will show you those. OK, I've already um, used them. So they came in this box. And just let me say, I'm not paid to promote that shop or um, these products at all. Um, this is it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, metallic set um, oil based um, so what I thought I was going to do and these are the pens here not that one I actually had a go with them last night and I painted this picture which I'm just going to show you now um, the girl with the gold earrings and I basically did that with a waterproof ink wash with one of those Chinese brushes and I already had those uh, and then sometimes I like to do these pictures and just add one flash of colour. And so I put, I used the gold to paint in some gold earrings. Um, so what I thought, and I've got this bronze here. So what I thought was I'd paint this picture, which I'll show you now, my autumn scene. And I, I'm toying with the idea of oil painting it and then adding these metallic highlights. We'll see, but anyway, I bought them because I couldn't resist. Uh, because I'm always sketching, I found also, I was quite surprised that um, the products were cheaper than Amazon. So how about that, hey? Because we assume, obviously, we buy in Amazon and we assume everything is cheaper there than these independent shops. Now, I don't know what this independent shop has done, but uh, their stuff was a lot cheaper. So I bought this art pad, a studio, 100 sheets. I mean, I sketch prolifically, so I need, it's a hard block, so you can paint straight onto it. Um, I was doodling yesterday, and here you can see my um, girl with her gold earrings. I hope that's flickering in the light. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so this was just an ink wash, uh, which I then sort of added the gold earrings to. Um, and so I love this. And then I was so excited about this pad that I could just flip a page and I painted this wintry walk, uh, just an, as again, an ink wash. Uh, so that was great. I love that. And I can't remember how much that was. But I, th I don't think it was more than £10. I mean, it's ridiculous. So when can you buy 100 sheets of this kind of cold-pressed, acid-free watercolour paper? I mean, it's just amazing. So I'm really happy to support this shop. I, I must say, um, I only went there because my children were shopping, getting ready back for school because we've been avoiding the shops. Uh, but anyhow, uh, you know, we're back and uh, I, I will go again. Canterbury's not that near me, so it is a bit of a trek. But, um, you know, if I get enough supplies when I go. So these are Cowling and Wilcox and I like the short, I like the short 
stubby brushes. I don't like anything too long, unless you want to do a long, thin line. But when I'm working fast, do my oil paints and blocking in, I like something a bit rough and ready. As you know, from if you've watched any of my other videos, I use this same old brush. It's absolutely knackered, but I thought, why not? These were just not even expensive. They were like two quid. Um, they're Da Vinci, Cowling and Wilcox. Again, let me just stress, I am not paid to promote these products. And uh, I bought this uh, little, because I'm always sketching, um, and it just gave me a few other options with this charcoal and what have you. Now, you probably, if you're into oil painting, interested in the next thing. I Well, all these oil paints are cheaper than Amazon as well. So even the bigger tubes of the Winsor & Newton, again, I'm not paid to promote Winsor & Newton, but I use it. As you know, if you've watched my videos, I love Sap Green. So they had a huge stock of the larger tubes, which was just fantastic uh, because you can't always get the larger tubes or there's a limited stock, usually white, black, you know, that kind of thing. Um, they had loads. So I just couldn't believe it. They had all sorts of colours I hadn't seen before. I mean, I guess that's what an art shop is for. Um, I loved it. Um, and these were under a 10 tenner. 9.95. I can't I can't get them on Amazon for that. This in this size. Unbelievable. So, you know, shout out to uh Cowling and Wilcox in Canterbury. Oh no, that's the bag. Sorry, I don't know what what's the shop. Let me tell you what the shop is called. Sorry. The shop is called Oh, it is Cowling and Wilcox, George Street, Canterbury. Okay, so and the other thing I treated myself to there. Now, this is also for my autumn scene is this Michael Harding paint. So, I tried to order this Indian yellow from um Amazon. It was a different brand. Um, but I'd seen it on a YouTube video and the lady did an autumnal scene, which is what I wanted the paint for, for my painting. And, um, she, uh, anyway, I couldn't get it. it. It just went months and months, you know, your orders being delayed and all of that. I just canceled it. Did it never came. So I saw this and I thought, you know, I've always wanted to try these paints. So, um, I'm going to get it and I'm going to I'm going to open this up and we're going to have a little plop of it on the paper to to compare that uh, in a minute. We'll just uh, compare the pigment. I'll do that in a minute. But I just wanted to show you some other colours I haven't used. Well, I have used Quinacrinol Magenta. I bought that. Purple Lake. I've never used that one. So we'll get that out for a demo as well. We'll have a look at that. Um, it's handy because, you know, if you're new to painting, even I haven't tried all these colours yet. So, you know, you don't want to be going out, rushing out, buying these things. I mean, sometimes I think I'll buy that and then I realise actually it's just a colour I make all the time using a mixture of other colours. I don't, I can make it so easily. It's not worth paying the extra. I also bought this. This was £20. I can actually get this slightly cheaper on Amazon, but it's not this brand. But since I was there and I was trying to support a local shop, um, I did buy this one in there. And it was uh, 19 99 for a litre, which won't last me that long, to be honest. Uh, and then I bought, um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know I like Nature's Yellow. And because this um, shop just had all these large tubes, I was able to buy a big one, which is great. And I use a lot of um, burnt sienna uh, for vintage style paintings, particularly. And I got another big one of those. So I had a bit of a spend up. I thought I bought more new colours than that. I guess I just fantasised about them and didn't actually buy them all. You know what? You know what we're like when we go to an art shop. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this Purple Lake, which is the Series uh, 1 Winsor & Newton. So these are the professional quality. And we're also going to try this Indian Yellow, which I'm just going to put onto this um, background here with my new brush. And because I have new brushes, I'm not going to use my old linseed oil there. I am going to use, I'm just going to dip it straight into the clean tub rather than the jar. I'm going to clean that jar out. 
like that and I think that's a nice clean linseed oil just to loosen it up and I use the smaller of the brushes so I've just loosened it up so that it's not too stiff the brush okay so I'm going to try the purple lake first um I'm not I mean I'm not sure this could, might not be worth buying I mean it could be something you can just mix sort of a alizarin crimson with black or something like that so but anyway we'll try it so there it is on my foil tray so let's just pull it about a bit it's definitely a nice plum color I hope you can I hope that's picking that up for you there so let's go on to the um paper and we're going to so it's a plum color it's a really it is a really nice color i mean if you're if you're racing around painting i've obviously this is watered down so we'll go even lower so you can see the various depths and we'll go thicker up here i guess it's something uh you could make with um you know, a black, a lizard and crimson, possibly a touch of maybe a French ultramarine. So, yeah, I mean, you don't need to buy this, but it, it is a nice colour. I will use it. Flowers, particularly roses. Yeah, that's a nice colour for the, the deep part of a red rose. Yeah, OK. OK, well, that's a nice one. Right, so I'm going to get a new brush from my Michael Harding. So this is my um, Indian yellow. So let's just plop that on there. Ah! And so that's how it comes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not very good light, is it? Can you catch that? I can't see my side, whether you can, let's just bring that out to show you, there, there, and there's the purple, probably shouldn't have used this reflective surface, but I just didn't have any other palettes handy, sorry about that, just get rid of some excess oil, and then, oh, I mean, that's a beautiful colour. I mean, I can see I will definitely, that will definitely come in handy. Oh, look at that. Oh, I've re that's it. I moved my phone when I was showing you the other. So that's really a beautiful colour. Look how beautiful it is. And that's quite watered down. So that's an amazing colour, I've got to be honest. And I've watered that down with way too much linseed oil and still look how beautiful it is. It's going a bit thicker. So you can see how that's going to be, you know, very useful in um, an autumnal. See, now that was really expensive. I think that, that um, tube, that small tube, how much is in there? 40 mil. Uh, that was like 16 quid <laughs> but I mean look how I mean, look how far it goes I mean just that one brush I mean okay that's not very thick but I don't think my other paints go stretch that far not that you want to stretch it because you're you know you're doing works of art not craft but um fine art but I'm just making a point you know that that colour pigment is so strong, even watered down like that with linseed oil, it's it's a bang of a colour. Okay, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, I mean, the Purple Lake I could probably live without, and the Michael Harding, I definitely think I will keep a tube of that about at the house. As I say, the Purple Lake I think you could make with... Um, I think you could make this with some black 
um, and some maybe some alizarin crimson or um, cadmium red deep hue, maybe something like that. Alizarin crimson, I think, and a, possibly even a touch of blue to purplify it, if that's even a word. Um, but if you you know if you're painting so quickly and you know you're going to use a lot of this colour, then why not just buy the tube? Definitely. Uh, but this Michael Harding is yeah something else. So there you go, there's a little test, a Michael Harding paint there. That's my first one I've ever bought. Um, and I can say I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I'll definitely get more. So that was my shopping haul yesterday in Canterbury. Um, you know, why not uh, venture out and stop being so reliant on Amazon? I, I, I didn't realize, I didn't realize I could actually get it cheaper elsewhere. So, um, there you go. In my next video, I'm going to show you how I mount um, my boards. I have some, I'll show you now. I have these MDF boards, which I'll show you here. Um, and I have some Italian linen canvas, uh, which I'm going to put on there. And I'm also going to unbox my Montmartre easel. Now, I'm a bit annoyed about this <laughs> because I thought it was French. <laughs> uh, there is another French brand, uh, but as you can see, when it arrived, boom, made in China. So we'll see, I got that off Amazon, um, you know, who knows? I'll let you know, I'll unbox it and I'll show you. I'm gonna wait for a slightly warmer day. We've got a bit of a, a little bit of a, you know, a tumultuous weather today and I wanted to do it outside really because my studio is getting fuller by the minute. Um, so I'm gonna do it outside in the sun. Uh, and when I do that, I will film it and show you what it's like. Uh, and then if you like it, you can also buy one from Amazon and no, I'm not going to put an affiliate link and no, I'm not even paid to um, say whatever I say because it might be rubbish. I don't know. <laughs> um, we'll see. But I keep compla complaining about my easel, which is rubbish. So I bought another one. OK, so now I'm going to get on with some painting. So I hope you'll tune in for my next video that's going to follow on after this one. See you later. Bye.